So here's the situation. You are one of the biggest pop stars in the world. You are beloved. You are adored. Uh, girls scream when they see you. Uh, you are just um, huge, a huge, huge star. And you're attending the Grammys tonight, the, the Grammys, which are the, the, you know, where all of the stars of the music world congregate and they walk the red carpet and, and they look their best and it's full of glitz and glamour and, and uh, you know, paparazzi and, you know, the flash bulbs are going off left and right. And uh, so what are you going to wear to this? You got to, you got to wear something that that's really going to knock people's socks off. That's really going to make people say, whoa, whoa. He looks great. I mean, I, I've seen him on TV before, but seeing him in, him in person, he just looks amazing. I just, I could faint right now. Well, uh, what do you put on in such a situation? What are your duds? What's your fit? For Harry Styles, it was this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing with you, Harry. I'm laughing at you. But I, you know what? At the same time, maybe I should be laughing in sympathy with you because I don't, I don't see you as someone who has enough autonomy. Uh, I don't think you picked this outfit out yourself. I think your handlers picked it for you. <laughs> but the thing is, you agreed to wear it. <laughs> I mean, you could have just said, I'm not going to wear that. And then they, and then maybe they would have said, "Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll release the blackmail information we have on you. Uh, the things that you did. We know the things that you've done. You know, we took pictures of you, and so now, uh, now we have you over a barrel. And then you're Harry Styles. And you say, "Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, I'll wear the thing. <laughs> I guess I'll wear the thing." <laughs> <laughs> so this is the we shouldn't I mean I'm I'm laughing but I shouldn't be laughing because this is we should be we should be serious about this we should be reverent towards this uh um outfit uh, this is high fashion this is the new masculinity you know you don't have to look like a you know, masculinity doesn't mean that you have to look like a man anymore. <laughs> Since when does masculinity mean that you're manly? <laughs> it could mean that you look like a total... <laughs> um, well, you know what? Some people say at least it's not a dress. <laughs> and he has worn a dr He has worn dresses before for for uh, magazine covers. He probably didn't want to do that either, but then they said, well, Harry, you remember that uh, that party a couple months ago? We took some pictures of you, uh, and uh, you give us any trouble, and, you know, we might just release, have to release those pictures. We don't want to do that, but we might just have to do that if you're going to be uh, querulous here, if you're going to fight us. And then they'll say, oh, yes, sir. Uh, I, I suppose you're right. Uh, give me the dress. I'll wear the dress. I'll look pretty in the dress. So anyway, this is the new masculinity. We should just get used to it. Um, we've been told it's been handed down to us. You know, uh, we see one of the biggest uh, musical stars in the world. You know, a handsome, sex symbol, uh, uh, 
and he look at what he's wearing. Look at the outfit he's rocking. He's rocking that what, whatever it is. It's that that pantsuit. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> but I mean, I laugh, but who am I to laugh, right? This is the new man. People like people like us gentlemen if you're in your 30s, 40s, or 50s, uh, like me, um, you know, we're, we're, we're obsolete. If you just sort of, you know, uh, wear manly looking clothes that that's, or what's traditionally, uh, what's, what's been called manly, right? Who's to say that manly can't mean wearing this? Who's to say that manly can't mean being totally, uh, effeminate? <laughs> oh, alas, poor Harry. I knew him, Horatio.